he's ready to pounce on his answer. <laughs> Is that the microphone voice? It really made me want to throw up. I like it. So you kind of ruined it. So I talk too much though. That's a good answer. Yeah. Well, Daniel, we'll start by talking about Italy. Tell us about the celebrations after winning in Monza and the homecoming. Firstly, you have a you have a microphone voice. You have like I a do? present. You just had a presenter voice. Thank you so voice. much. <laughs> I guess the feeling of Monza. The feeling of winning with McLaren Oof. and what it was like going home, seeing McLaren, Oof. and being there celebrating with everyone. It was amazing as you felt and saw and lived. Um, I think that's that's such a cool thing and it, it's actually overwhelming. I know we both had to give little speeches. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of people. Yours was a good speech. I thought, I thought you did well. Thanks. Mine yeah. was a lot shorter than... I, was, not, was, not I talked too much though, so yours was all right. Yeah, well, okay. We're patting each other right Where now. Where would you say the win slots in? I know I've got a few, but I don't have that many that like, they all obviously you feel special. Me. But that's why I'm like, <laughs> I got a few, you know. <laughs> but I don't have a hundred. Yeah. So they're all special, but definitely Monza was like at the very least yeah. as high as any because Ooh. it's also like to win with another team. I yeah. think that's kind of, I don't know, there, there's like a lot of fulfillment taken from sure. that. Sure, of course there is. And yeah, I'd had a pretty mediocre year up until Monza so yeah that made uh, <laughs> that made the, the win like even higher cool um so yeah the homecoming everyone being able to like enjoy that okay for the team it's been enough chat am, I, am I going next right. one yeah uh, think McLaren think Lando how special was it being part of that one two <laughs> is that the microphone <laughs> voice uh in a way uh, um it's your best result in F1 it was my best result it was a shame you won. Because I know, I feel like you just people took forgot. away everything, the <laughs> <Yeah>. fact. <laughs> and I was like, ah, he just finished second. Yeah. Little do they know it's your best result in F1. I know. So you kind of ruined it. It's all right. Um, but it was still special because it was a one-two. Mm -hmm. Like the second place wasn't special, but first second was special. And um, I guess like the main thing for me is seeing where the, t the team were when I joined them, seeing how happy the team are and like the contrast from 2017 to now. Was pretty. Um, it was pretty amazing. So to be part of that little journey was um, mm. was pretty cool. I like it. Was there a specific moment in the race that you thought this is mine? I'm gonna win. I feel like that was as soon as you overtook Max down to yeah. turn one. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. I mean, the start was like a let's see a key moment. Yeah. But you know, I, I wasn't obviously after the first chicane. I wasn't convinced I was gonna lead the rest of the race. But you know, he put pressure on me the first few laps, and yeah, I was like. In a way, I was like, okay, he's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna have to defend at yeah. some point. But I never really had to. He got close, but not close enough. And it was then where I was like he holding him off for actually. a few, where I was like, all right. I was like, you we can do this. Doing it. Yeah, so that was that. And, um, and you yeah. did it. Yeah. Got it done. <laughs> got it done. Yeah. Got, got her done. Um, did you enjoy the shoey? How was my boot? <laughs> I uh, mean, was that your most liked post? What you did from uh, from my shoey? It was close to. You got, it was quite a lot. Close to the one of me just sitting in the paddling pool in my garden. Maybe it's because you had your kit your kid off. Maybe. You maybe. Got, you got maybe that's what they're into. Excited. Maybe I'll do that more often. I can ask George for a few tips. <laughs> um, um, did you honestly? Like, I mean, I was going to make you do a shoey regardless, but yeah. did you enjoy that, or did you actually think this I is? I think disgusting? I, I enjoyed it because it was just part of being one too. Mm -hmm. I think it was just a cool thing to do. I hate champagne and bubbly and all that stuff. Yeah. You're not really a drinker, are I'm you? I'm not, sometimes. <laughs> so I just didn't enjoy that. Yeah. Like, and when I drank a bit, I didn't drink a bit. I had like a massive gulp. And that like, it really made me want to throw up. Ah. I just felt like I couldn't do that on the podium. Imagine power yakking on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> From your shoe. So, wow. So I don't know if I'd do it with something else, but then I just feel like it doesn't work with something else. It has to be- it needs to be alcoholic. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting more serious here, Daniel, all right? Ugh. You had a tough start to the season with McLaren. How did you deal with that and get the extra performance boost that gave you the win? Um, hard work, dedication, hard work, dedication. Yeah. 
That was pretty much it. That's a good answer. Yep. You had just turned 13 years old when McLaren took their last win at Brazil in 2012. Can you even remember watching that race, Lando <laughs> Norris? Uh, 2013, what was I doing? I was in KF3. Um, How old were you, 14? Oh, 13, no, I said 13. 13, 13. <laughs> KF3, would I have watched this? Where was it? Brazil. Brazil? Ah, no, I don't Brazil. remember that. Anyway, all right, so you don't really remember. I don't really remember it, okay. but that was a long time ago. Okay. Did you even watch F1 as a kid? Every now and then. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. Not really a fan of Formula One, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you have no beard. Why are you doing that? <laughs> what were your expectations at the start of the season? Coming into this year, um, that I would win every podiums, race. Wins. Oh, you okay. Yep. So uh, just straight up there. Straight up. I knew that there was the potential to get podiums with the team. I saw you guys got them last year in yep. 2020. And I only felt like the team was going to get better better and you could do more sure so yeah i guess there was like the expectation of at least some podiums but you don't know because even to get a podium you know you're beating at least one mercedes or one yep. red bull and they they had a, a big gap on everyone and for the ferraris most part last well. year and ferrari so yeah it's never easy but i i did i did think we could get it done well it was true mclaren are steeped steeped sorry yeah I'm going to try to do this with an English accent because I feel steeped is an English word. McLaren are steeped in history. It's more like David Attenborough. That's all I can do. Is he even English or is he Scottish or no, he's, Irish? He's Scottish? English? He's English. English. Yeah. McLaren are steeped in history and I'm proud to be a part of that journey. But what do you enjoy most about being <laughs> with that team? He is thinking. He is ready to pounce on his answer. <laughs> Stop. Mr. Norris. It's getting worse. Is, I know. <laughs> My throat hurts as well. Um, I think you actually said it well. I don't know when it was. I think it was when we did our speech. When you said to have like, when you walk down the boulevard, you see all the cars and then you see all the trophies. And then you see your little trophy. Actually, you had a big one. Mine was a small, <laughs> small little trophy. To have a little trophy in there alongside these kind of guys, I think it was pretty special. Yeah. So to have that feeling, I think is what, what makes it pretty cool. Because you're still quite young as well, I guess. Thank you like, so much. Yeah. But like history probably doesn't even mean much to you. <laughs> no, it doesn't. you haven't really lived that long. I respect <laughs> history, but I don't have pay much attention to it. Like that's something that, yeah, McLaren will you know, talk like, about for years to come. Exactly. Because it's it was a big anyway. moment. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's a boring question, but what can we achieve as a team for the rest of the season? Was that the last one? I, I think it was. Quite a few more. Good reflexes, sorry. What can we achieve, Daniel? I mean, we've already done it. One, two. I mean, I know. what else do you I guys want retire, from us? Really. We can swap positions next time. Uh, 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 let's see. I think the likelihood of me retiring before you is high. So you can do the winning <laughs> <laughs> later. Okay, I'm happy with that. You've got to grow a beard first before you can I've win a race. I've been trying for so freaking long. <laughs> It just doesn't work. <laughs> oh. oh, here he is. Max, Max, Max. Hello. Hi. Hello. Do you want to join Hello. in on this interview? <laughs> oh, can we take a moment to all awkward. appreciate Max's new trousers yeah, this here? This is my new style. Oh. I wouldn't really say it's his it's style. He back. He fits in here. <laughs> <laughs> it does look cozy. A bit big Good for night, him. Max. We don't have all day for this, mate. This one's not even about Formula One. It's about Oscar Piastri. Ah, Oscar yes. Oscar Piastri. You no. won the F2 feature race that Sunday morning in Monza. Do you feel proud to see other Aussies doing well? Question. Be honest. I am definitely proud to see, like, so there Oscar. Were, there were two Aussie national anthems that day. Yeah. Crazy. It's more than enough, isn't it? Crazy. So I, I am really excited to see the likes of Oscar do well. I know what it was like for me, like when Mark Webber was in F1 and when I joined the grid and you sure. know, he was still there, I was just like, it was cool. It was really like a, a cool feeling and, and obviously proud to like represent Australia. Yeah. And I think um, Oscar's been, Oscar's been like been killing it this, this season, year. Man. Yeah. Like really good race craft as well. So um, seems to have the whole package right now. So cool. Well, yeah, that's it. I feel like we've bonded. Yeah. 
there's there's definitely a level of um, hmm, photosynthesis within conclusions. I was thinking it was more equilibrium. Hmm. Prosperity. <laughs> Let's end this even more awkward and do a left hand handshake. Feels weird, huh? It does. Goodbye.